welcome to another episode of Casa Negrense. Oh. Tonight, we're going to do a different video. It's about Food. Asian market hall, right? Yeah, hall. <laughs> hall. Asian market hall, not hall. <laughs> Asian market hall. And I went there today um, trying to check out uh, different um, biscuits or chicheria or wafers uh, from the Asian market. So, <laughs> Gabriel's actually gonna try this for the first time and look at his nose already by just smelling it. This is durian flavored wafer. It's a dollar and forty nine cents. And also we have this strawberry flavored egg roll, which is like um, barquillos in our country, right? Or stick o in the Philippines. And I grew up. One second, I grew up. Um, we a lot of our generation grew up with this um, kind of snack or biscuit uh, wrapped in chocolate. Um, what do you call this one? Um, dip in chocolate, right? Or, mm -hmm. Am I making sense? Anyway, yeah, so I, I this is $2.99. I, um, I don't know how much is it right now in the Philippines, but if you do know, uh, please um, make a comment below so we can compare the prices. So anyways. Um, I got milk just in case I throw up. You got milk just in case you throw up. I might need a bowl. Okay. No, you don't need to. Durian is a very, very popular Asian fruit. Specifically, in the Philippines, there's a lot in Davao. I know. <laughs> and there's a lot in Davao. And in Singapore, I believe there's a lot of durian in there. And, and then I believe in Hong Kong also. And in Chinatown here in New York, there's a lot of it too. All right. Uh, let's open this, Gabe. Come on, let's open this. Uh, the smell is really pungent. <laughs> it really smells like durian. Ah. You want to give it a try? You can drink water right away. Oh, thank you. Why? It really smells, right? But just try it anyways. Just for the curiosity sake. Just try it. I'm not curious. Yes, you're not curious because of the durian. Okay, so it's it's in a wafer, right? I'll just take half. I'll just take this little piece. Okay. Tell me how it is. Hey, your your milk is over here. Gabriel, come back. Oh, oh no. All right, never mind. So don't try the durian then. All right, proceed with the next one. Proceed with this one. This actually it's called Magical Tales by Ino Inodoro. <laughs> Isn't that Inodoro in the Philippines is <laughs> is the toilet? Or <laughs> in Spanish it's only oh it's it's different. It just sound like it, but when you when you pronounce it, it sounds like it. So do you wanna this one is um five ninety nine, but look. It comes in a vacuum sealed container, which I believe after using this, you can reuse this. All right, all right. Just press the top uh, open. Press the top this open. This will be my favorite part. Okay, try it. Why are you covering? Your... Because we're so it's not stinky. It's strawberry. How is it? Tastes like bacillus. Mm. Really? I still got that. <laughs> you still have the durian taste? Gabe, smell it again. <laughs> you know, when I was in Michigan, a lot of my friends were asking if, uh, as well as I was saying, my friends um, in, back in Michigan, they're asking me to bring durian back from the Philippines because they want to taste the durian fruit. I said, no, I can bring you a durian candy and it really surprisingly didn't didn't taste bad to them my american friends so um but gabriel cannot tolerate durian <laughs> so he said he gave up already he doesn't want to eat durian anymore just put it away if you don't like it okay how about this one try this one i grew up eating this cookie i already took a bite you already took a bite what's her review is it good 
Tastes like durian. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the durian's still here and it smells. So. It has a strong flavor. Huh? The durian has a strong flavor. Durian has a strong flavor. So what do you think? So no durian. That one is good. How about this one? Half and half. Half and half. So, how about this? I made puto for the potluck tomorrow. But you're not trying it. Because <laughs> it's for the potluck. <laughs> All right. You're saying something. Not eat that unless if you're willing to. Wait, no, no. Unless you're really, really hungry, right? No, you're not really hungry. <laughs> unless you're really, really hungry, then you eat that. Exactly. But no, but Gabe, there are people in Asia that really wants to eat durian. So you know, to each his own. Everybody has a different opinion, right? Yeah, it's just I can't tolerate. it. You can't tolerate it. So. <laughs> okay, I'm closing the bag here. We're gonna, we're not just closing the bag. We're putting uh, a cover to it. Okay. Are you gonna go to sleep now after you drink the milk? It already disappeared. Oh, it disappeared. All right. Mom, I never want to try that again. Why? It's decent. I would eat it, but I'll eat it one at a time. One, one each way for each day because it's overwhelming. It's not just overwhelming. It's over my limits. Over your limits. Well, you know, as I said to each his own. Maybe. So final words or final word about Dorian, Gabe. Don't eat it, never give it to me, and I'm sorry for the people that like it. <laughs> it's just, it almost made me throw up five minutes ago. My stomach still hurts. But that's okay. As I said, to each its own. People has different opinions. Some people like it, some people doesn't. The thing I so. like the most today is this for some reason. All right. I don't know why, but I like it. That, do you know that that is made in the Philippines? No. Yes, it is made in the Philippines. This one is made in China. No, made in Thai. Uh, made in China. China. And where's that? And the durian no, is. Oh, don't get it closed. Don't get it closed. Yeah, I know. The durian is made in. Let's see. A place where you don't want to eat it from. The durian store. From the durian store. I don't know. I mean, we didn't. I thought you don't want. <laughs> you don't want it. You don't want it near you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Anyways, <laughs> all right. Let's end this. Let's end this um, Asian market. Here we go again. Asian Market Hall. And we're going to be reviewing more, right? Okay, let's end this video now. Um, again, I hope you join us next time as we do another uh, video haul. Hall. I don't know. It's just I can't pronounce it. Not including that. Not including. Gabriel, mm -hmm. I want to talk to you about the brands that we... Um, talked about earlier i would say the durian one whatever the brand is mm -hmm. um i don't know specifically i forgot the name but for the product they did a good job with the uh, flavoring of the durian in the I wafer agree. yeah because it's realistic it's just, when I you eat think. some durian products it should really smell and taste like durian right i think the product was really good it yeah. made it smell it authentic was, it and the, the, the it sweetness is, of it is... I'm just um, not used to durian, but for some reason they made it to the specific 
flavor. Yes, it's not the brand, it's the durian smell. But if you really wanted to have a true experience of a durian flavored wafer, then that's the best brand actually because the wafer is good, it's crunchy, it's, really it's crunchy not too salt, it's not too sweet, I mean. And at the same time, you really you really taste the durian flavor and you can even smell the durian flavor 100% on that brand. So, and in fairness to the Nabisco one, it's good. And also the strawberry one is also good. The strawberry was my favorite. So the strawberry but was your favorite? My second favorite was the durian, even though I, I dislike the flavor of durian. I just like the crunchiness about it. And this and that's not too sweet, right? The wafer is not too sweet. The wafer filling is not too sweet. All right. Anyways, we're gonna end this night by saying good night. Good night. Thank you for watching Casa Negrense. Bye bye.